you just don't want to when you keep putting it off but you know you have to study because you're taking the board exam soon and you know if you don't pass the board exam you have to take the board exam again pay more money so you have to study okay but it's not as easy right it's kind of like telling somebody you have to stop smoking because it's not good for you you know they have to be ready to stop smoking to actually do it well studying is kind of similar in the sense where if you just don't feel like it you're not going to study but then it's a vicious cycle because then you'll be telling yourself that night oh my goodness i didn't study again i did other things i'm gonna have to study twice as hard tomorrow and then tomorrow comes and then you're like okay it's friday maybe i'll just pick up studying on Monday and then you get sick for three days and then you don't start studying un until Thursday, you get the idea. So let me help you with study motivation. The best thing to do is try different ways of studying and see what works for you. So this is what I mean by that. Some people are able to study for three hours at a time and then take a break and they feel pretty good. They feel good in telling themselves that they were able to study that day. Now they can go to the mall and now they can treat themselves. Now they can hang out with their friends. They can visit their family or do whatever they want to do. But then other people get very easily distracted or they just can't sit there and study for three hours at a time, they do better studying for one hour at a time and then maybe taking a, a, a break, they feel refreshed, they come back and study for another hour. I tell my students in the Board Exam Prep Academy to study about six hours a day if you can, if you don't have a full-time job, study six hours a day. I tell them study two or six hours a day, again, depending on your schedule. So think about it this way. One person can study for six hours a day. They can study three hours in the morning and then three hours in the evening. That is six hours. But what if you're that person that does better studying an hour at a time? So you could study for one hour while you're having your coffee at 8 a.m. Take a break, study another hour a couple hours later, and then maybe after lunch you have a lot of energy, you're okay to study two hours, then you take a two hour break, study another couple hours. As long as you're getting those six hours in, you're studying the same material in that same amount of time, whether it be th three hours in the morning, three hours in the evening, or a couple hours here, a couple hours there, and then a couple hours at night. You're still retaining the same amount of information, but the difference is you might do so much better studying a couple hours here, a couple hours there, or you might do better studying three hours at a time. So you need to decide maybe even try out both ways and then say to yourself after each day how much material did i feel like i retained studying two hours here one hour there two hours there or the other day when i did three hours in the morning and then three hours in the evening what do i feel worked better for me or maybe you want to mix it up but this is a great way to get motivated when you feel like you're learning something when you feel like you're retaining information you're almost excited to study again because your hard work that time you're putting into it is worth it because you've actually learned something the issue is when people don't feel like they're retaining the information they're studying every day or they're studying twice a week but they just don't feel like they're retaining any info they don't want to study anymore they're not motivated they're not looking forward to studying what I also talk about is creating a good study space. Some people feel better studying in the library. Maybe you want to go to your favorite coffee shop and study there for two hours and then walk home. Or maybe you want to go to the library for four hours and just study for four hours. You feel good and then go home and then study two hours again that night. Kind of find what works for you. You don't want to come into your room. Things are a mess. You have your cell phone on it's beeping every two seconds um, you can't get focused to study because maybe you have siblings at home maybe you have kids you have to watch them you have to keep an eye on them so you're studying 30 minutes here 30 minutes there and then you're like okay you know what there's no point I can't get anything done find a, a really good focused space as well another thing is inside my board exam prep academy 
I tell you what to study and when to study per week. So you will know exactly what you need to do that week, what to study. There's nothing more gratifying than say making a to-do list and then crossing off your to-do list when you get things done. So let's say if you're in my board exam prep academy and you know you're learning about the tooth surfaces and nutrition this week, I actually have a list for you that you can cross off and mark as completed when you're done it. And then you'll feel so good because you were able to complete everything on your list. And then maybe you'll even feel super good where you'll want to continue on to the next module early. And then you want to take more breaks the week afterwards because you're ahead of schedule. That's the nice thing about a tutoring course is that we can help you on what to study, when to study, how to study, when to take breaks, when to maybe do things a little bit extra, so you're not doing it on your own. It's also hard to get motivated to study when you're doing it on your own and you're thinking, I don't even know where to start. I have textbooks, notes, what do I do? Where do I start? As with anything in life, if things look too overwhelming, too complicated, we just don't want to do it, right? We want to put it off. Inside the Board Exam Prep Academy, I tell you exactly what to do with a list, making it easy, focused studying. So you don't have to do the thinking, you just have to do the studying. And I can help you with that. You can either listen to me um, teaching you the topics where it's kind of similar to this, where I'm just talking to you with a PowerPoint. I'm doing kind of like a screen share, or I have study guides where you read where you read a summarized um, topic and then mock exam questions and answers, rationales and case studies. Or maybe you want to just read the PowerPoint on your own and study that way. There's many different ways to study depending on the board exam prep package that you do pick. You have options on how you want to study. Another thing that I want to show you guys let me show you for the dental hygiene um, blueprint. So let me just share my screen here. I have now included in every single board exam prep course, the candidate handbook. So what I've done, and this is just specific to the Canadian one, but what I've done is I have taken your candidate handbook guide and I have dissected it for you. So as you guys can see, for every topic, there's examples and explanations. So you will kind of know, okay, I know today I have to study ethics. What do I do? Where do I go? You can, you can open this first to get an overall look at what you have to know. And I give you examples right inside your study guide. And then you can log in inside the course under your ethics module and then read all about ethics that way. And then you can listen to me teaching you ethics. So you're not just reading, 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 boring, 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 but you're kind of doing different things. So you really retain the information. It's, I try to make studying exciting. So what's better motivation than that? When I'm basically handing everything to you, you just have to study it. And if you have questions, well, you know where to find me, right? So let me just show you guys that again. So for every topic, you will see exactly what you have to know. And I'm just going to kind of run through this quickly for you. This one happens to be 37 pages, I believe but there's everything here for you. But then there's also study guides. So this one was the dental hygiene um, Canada handbook. Here's a dental assisting one, same type of thing where I go through everything. I tell you the percentage of the exam of what you have to know, how much you have to know, and then you go back and study through the modules. So the board exam prep packages that I do have, I have the study guide package, I have the express package and the VIP package. So I can leave the link down here for you guys down below. I can just quickly actually pop that up for you if you want. Let's see. There we go. I'm just quickly popping this up for you guys. So this is the website here at dentalL.com. This is the US site, but then if you're in Canada, you just have to click Dental L Canada down here. And then you, you will see everything that you need to know for these board exam prep packages that I was kind of talking about. Can I zoom in here? There you go. So I have a study guides package and express package and a VIP package. I'm just going to go back to the US site just to kind of show you guys for a moment again. Um, I have all the packages here for you 
different prices depending on if you're in the US or Canada. If you want to learn about what all of the packages are, you just have to click see all board exam prep packages here, and then you can see what's included in all of them. So the study guide package, the express package and the VIP package. I will always recommend the VIP package because it just has everything and you have full access until you pass. The express package and the study guide package, you have limited access, um, but maybe you don't need unlimited access. You just need a, cu a couple months. So then the other packages might be better for you if you want to save some money. So I do explain all of the packages here. I can leave the link for you guys down below as well in the video description. So let me know if any questions. Study motivation is so important because if you're not studying, you can't pass the board exam. If you don't pass the board exam, you get even more discouraged and then you don't really know how to pick it up and then restudy. So let's pass the first time. Even if you've taken the board exam a couple times, it's time to sign up for a tutoring program. You just need to know what to study and when to study and that's what a tutoring program offers you. And it's nice to have full support. We also have a members only community where you can network with other students. Talk about board exam prep every day. I I help teach board exam prep every day. You're always learning. You're always studying something. Make sure to join Dental L on Instagram for my mock exam practice questions that I have every single week. Even every day, we were just talking about histology where I had um, done up posts on Instagram, like little posts here and there about the cell the cell body, nerves, neurons, all kinds of stuff. So there's always something to learn. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if any questions and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Click like if you like this video that does help me and my channel and definitely subscribe if you haven't yet. This is a dental loving channel, dental hygiene students, dental assisting students, dental professionals, anybody who wants to learn more about dental studying, any of that, it's all about that. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. So are you thinking about becoming a mobile dental hygienist? Meaning you're not going to work for a dentist anymore. You're not going to purchase your own standalone practice like a physical location, but you're either going to see patients in your own home. I can see patients in mine. I just have to quickly